Hello, today we're going to be replacing the trim limit and the trim sender on this Bravo 3 drive. This is a 1995 year model drive here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, remove the stern drive the drive itself off of the uh, bell housing. We've removed the trim limit switch here and we have it taped up uh, to keep it out of the way while we're working. Same thing on this side with the cinder. And it also gives us access for our, to the uh, hinge pins here. We will now remove the metal U-joint bellows sleeve. Okay, now we're going to remove both hinge pins. Uh, we're going to use a special tool 91-78310 and it, that fits into the hinge pin itself. We're going to use a half inch socket. Okay, now we're going to pull back on the bell housing and rotate it 90 degrees. Now we can access the trim wire uh, retainer screw located right here. We're going to go ahead and remove the screw and the retainer. This is the screw and the retainer. Okay, we're now inside the boat, and we've located the uh, the other end of the of the wires located here. And we're going to disconnect both of these. Uh, we're going to tie a string, a chaser string, around these, and also the other set of wires located here, and pull those out uh, of the back of the boat. Now we're going to go ahead and pull the wires through the back of the boat, or out the back of the boat. Alright, here's our new cinders, uh, cinder and limit. This is a little bit of a closer view of the two halves that come together and then the retainer that holds them in along with the screw okay we're now going to pull uh, the both uh, both wires through and then we're going to install the clip the retainer and the screw okay go ahead Okay, pull on the left. Okay, hold it. Okay. Alright, we got the retainer and screw back in. Now we're going to route the uh, trim sender back down the side over to this side here and tape it back up and the uh, trim limit 
uh, on this side over here and tape it up until uh, we're ready to install those. Now we're going to reconnect our wiring uh, from our limit and sender uh, back into the boat wiring. We're now going to reinstall the sleeve back onto the upper bellows. We're going to be using this driver part number 818162 and we're going to be using soapy water on the bellows as we install. We will now reinstall the hinge pins. We will align the index marks here on the, uh, this is the trim limit, and push in on the drive to make sure it's in the full down position. And install it, and go ahead and put the screws in at this point. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Okay, we're going to install the trim cinder, uh, the trim gauge cinder in the same manner. Align the marks here. Make sure it's in the full down position. And then go ahead and put the screws in. Okay, now that we've got the new trim limit and the trim cinder installed, we will go ahead and install our drive uh, back onto the back of the boat and install the uh, the trim cylinders okay we've now got the drive reinstalled on the back of the boat with the hydraulic cylinders installed and we have it trimmed all the way down we have a little bit of clearance down uh, on the floor here so now we're going to go ahead and turn it turn the steering wheel to the left so that we can go ahead and adjust our trim sending unit uh, for the trim gauge okay we're inside the boat now and what we're going to do is we're going to turn the key to the on position and take note of where the needle falls on the gauge okay our needle is resting uh, just above the full down hash mark on the gauge so we're going to take loose the screws here and we're going to rotate uh, just very slightly clockwise to bring the needle back down to the full down position. That's good. Once you make the adjustment to get it all the way down on the hash mark with the drive, you're going to want to trim it up and back down to verify everything's working correctly usually there will be a little bit of fine-tuning involved okay now that we've got the trim cinder adjusted to the gauge we're going to go ahead and turn the steering wheel to the right to access the trim limit switch on the port side and we'll go through the adjustment procedure on this. Okay, now we're going to uh, adjust the trim limit and what the trim limit is for is to keep the drive from being trimmed up too far while the boat's in use so what we're going to do is we're going to push on the trim switch only until the drive stops. Okay now that it's it's trimmed up and the cinder has stopped the trimming here we're going to go ahead and take a measurement from the center of this pin to the center of this pin and it's approximately 21 and a quarter inches 
what we're shooting for is 21 and 3 quarters, so mm -hmm. we have just about a half inch or so to go. Okay, now we're going to make our trim limit adjustment. We need to extend the, uh, the end of the hydraulic cylinder, so we're going to go ahead and rotate counterclockwise ever so slightly until we achieve our 21 and 3 quarter inches um, on our trim cylinder. And there's 21 and 3 quarters. So now we're locked in the trim limit switch. Okay, now we're going to do one last final check. And with the trailer switch here at the bottom, you can go ahead, once the uh, limit is up all the way, you can push in on the button to then lift the drive up the rest of the way. And that's the end of our trim position. And that's the end of the trailer position.